you know, uh, I wasn't planning at all to make a video until the weekend because I started my new job today and I'm pretty knackered. Uh, <laughs> suffice to say, uh, I'm making this because uh, something precipitated it, um, and I felt I had to make a commentary about it, which uh, really I would say was the catalyst or maybe the, the final trigger for a bunch of thoughts I've been having for a while. And so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to make a video. It doesn't matter how knackered I am. Um, anyway, uh, basically, um, the event that triggered my video, which I'll explain as it goes on, you'll see what I'll be talking about. That was, um, I have to commute now uh, for my job, quite a fair distance, and um, so I have to take the train, and I was the platform heading back from work today. And I saw this guy groveling to his girlfriend, begging her, asking her what he did wrong, and she had this snide, disgusting, arrogant look on her, uh, refused to speak to him. And I just thought to myself, I am so tired of seeing that. Uh, I'm tired of, the, of other men doing it. I recognize that flaw when I used to do it when I was younger. Um, and it, it's it's just really sad. Um, and it's beyond sad. It's pathetic. It's just pathetic. And here we have with this this case once again of idolatry, putting pussy, putting a woman on a pedestal, worshiping the pussy. And ever since, well, about, I think for about a week, I've been thinking about this. And the fact of the matter is. Um, Whilst it's not a perfect analogy, please someone tell me how a man's addiction to the female is any different to a drug addiction. I'm quite serious. Um, they're both chemical addictions. One, a man is essentially born with at birth, uh, and the other is something that can be well, developed over time. But once you have it, once you're, say, a crack addict or a heroin addict, you're chemically, biologically, you're biochemically addicted. And so man's uh, so-called interest in, in women really is nothing but a biochemical addiction and it's reached the point where it's um, it, it brings nothing but self-destruction to the man involved there's no there's no benefit to it whatsoever it's as if uh, you know you're smoking a crack pipe and it just doesn't get you high anymore but you're still addicted to it anyway uh, the way I would look at it um, and uh, the analogy is pretty apt, I think, because uh, look at um, what our, collectively speaking, male addiction to the female, to pussy, uh, makes us do. Much like the so-called crack whore who runs out and, you know, participates in depraved sexual acts who will murder or steal and uh, commit some of the most grievous moral crimes in order to get his or her, see, I'm being gender equal, uh, fix, um, who's willing to spend his la his or her last cent uh, for basically anything in order to get that fixed. I suppose heroin would be equally applicable in this case. Um, the the mangina, or the male in general, whether they're manginas, PUAs, or what have you, has uh, essentially uh, put himself in the same position by all accounts, by, based on all observations, do uh, men in practicing self-immolation, uh, you know, are they willing to spend their last cent on a woman? Sure. <laughs> we see it all the time. Are they forced to by the court system? Well, that as well. That's a slightly different issue. Um, do they beg and grovel? Are they willing to commit crimes and, well, commit violence in the name of their women? for their women to acquire the woman. Yes, they are. So, whilst I'm not saying this is a, a very scientific and uh, factual uh, statement, the, the, anal the analogous uh, behavior is really, for me, far too striking not to mention. Um, and <sighs> man's addiction to women being a, an addiction, a drug addiction, is one I think that indeed can be kicked. And the difference being that w it, this addiction is encouraged. Um, 
Now, usually when someone's a heroin or a crack addict, no one goes around saying, uh, you know, you need to try harder, um, you know, you need to make more of an effort, you know, basically this sort of self-help. Do, do everything to propitiate the female, everything. Um, no one says that. They say, you're an addict, you need to get over it. Does every crack addict, heroin addict get over his or her addiction? No. Um, and I sadly have to concede that most men uh, won't get this. Um, and I, every time I walk through the streets of the city I live, I find myself confronted by my own addiction because we're all addicts, let's face it. Um, what's important and what distinguishes me and other um, men going their own way who realize these things, I should hope, is that we're aware of it at least and we're doing what we can to combat it. Um, I refuse, refuse to ever, ever put myself in a position where I'm groveling at a woman's feet for her pleasure and for her favor. Uh, this, this site was, uh, I saw today, it was truly abominable. Um, and there's no doubt that other people saw it as well. It was a, you know, it's quite, uh, God, my English is so rusty sometimes these days. German. It sort of fell into my eyes, as it were, to say that in German. And, um, yeah, it, I have a feeling that the women who were watching it were probably enjoying that site. That's what I want to do as well. And the guys, well, I don't know what they were thinking, but I know what I was thinking when I saw it. It, it really was an in, beyond incredible. And I, I do think it, a, male, a male addiction to pussy, to women, what, however you want to term it, it's, it's like a drug addiction. It's no different, it's no different than a drug addiction. Um, and it must be kicked. Um, now, how to kick it exactly? Well, I think indifference is the best uh, solution. And, um, it, you know, it works both ways. On the one hand, it is a very strong addiction. On the other hand, you can practice indifference. You don't have to be a slave uh, to your biological instincts to the point where you're willing to immolate yourself for the sake of a female. Um, I don't know if every male has gone through it, but I think many of us have, and I'm not going to lie. I have gone to the point in the past when I was much younger where I nearly immolated myself for the sake of a female, sacrificed myself, spent tons of money, begged her forgiveness for, well, slights I never even committed, looking back on it. So, you know, we've been there, and I, perhaps that's the reason, through my own flaws and, and past faults, that I, it infuriates me when I see it today. So sacrifice, uh, this concept of sacrificing everything, well, that's what the, that's what the crack whore does as well. And we need, really need to get over this. If we don't get over it, we're all going to be screwed because we're already being screwed. We're going to be screwed that much worse. Um, and unlike, it, of course, that's probably where the, anal the analogous uh, uh, example ends because um, the difference is when you're a crack or a heroin addict, no one is encouraging you to continue the ha habit, as I mentioned before, and they're not going to shame you if you try to quit. No one's going to say, oh, you just weren't strong enough to keep on smoking crack, were you? Oh, you, you didn't want to shoot up anymore? Oh, you're such a pussy. They're not going to say anything like that. Not so uh, when you decide to kick your addiction to women. Um, I think it's... Uh, it definitely is an upwards uh, battle, and um, you have social institutions very much against it. Uh, if you decide to kick the drug addiction, what, it's a, what it essentially uh, adds up to a drug addiction, at least. Um, and uh, you know, and, the, and there's another aspect to it as well. I mean, I think the sense of resign, a resignation uh, that men display sometimes is, is incredible. That's just the way it is. Uh, women, what are you going to do? Um, you know, they don't get it. I mean, some of men, some of the men I talk to, they recognize that they're addicts. I mean, some of them are just not aware. I mean, they're just, they're, they will be slaves to their dicks for the rest of their lives. Fine. Some of them get it, but they just think that's the way it is. Um, well, not so sure about that. Uh, I know I'm not going to be uh, ever again a slave to my dick. Um, I'm never going to chase after a woman again. 
And whether I'm a pussy or a loser because of that, well, so be it. I gladly bear the, those titles um, for the sake of doing what I consider it right. Because it is an addiction, and once again, the analogy is there. It, it is just as destructive as any uh, drug, serious drug addiction, or chemical dependency. Um, and uh, it needs to be kicked. Now, there uh, will inevitably be people who, uh, most probably women, who would like to counter what I'm saying by saying, well, women are addicted to men as well. Um, I have a bunch of things to say to that, and so I'll say them here. Uh, females are not so much addicted to males, that is, they're not addicted to dick, in the sense that men are addicted to pussy. Um, this is because females are addicted to the, if you, as it were, it's a, more of a psychological addiction, I think, in many ways, than a physical, to the services that men provide them. Be it, uh, well, the great uh, intellectual achievements of men that make uh, society uh, the impressive place it is to live in these days, or, you know, carrying that heavy sofa from, from the grandiose to the, to the minuscule. Uh, that's what women love about men. They love what men can do for them. Um, you know, I have, I like saying the value of a man, I of course don't really mean this, but this is the perception. The value of a man lies in what he can do for a woman. The value of a woman lies in her very existence. Um, and so, no, that's, uh, that's simply not the case, that women are addicted in the same measure and manner that men are to, uh, to women. Furthermore, uh, <clears throat> regarding the claim that I would, I'm sure I might hear uh, in the course of people watching this, that yes, women enjoy sex too, and you can't say that only men are addicted to sex. Well, uh, tell me a single heterosexual man, uh, tell me of a very, maybe I'm sure there are some, very few, who uses sex as a weapon to deprive sex to his partner in order to influence her, in order to manipulate her, in order to punish her. Yes, there are cases where men lose interest in having sex with their wives or their long-term partners. Um, they don't do this to manipulate the person. They just lost interest in it. They don't find the person attractive, whatever. Um, and then you could further cite, if you were to try to attempt to counter my points, well, it's only because the woman, uh, sorry, so the, so the woman is upset that she's not getting sex. No, she's not upset that she's not getting sex. She's upset that she can't manipulate him anymore through sex. That is the point. So to claim that women are addicted to men in the same manner that men, 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 I, men idolatry, uh, put pussy up on a, a, a divine pedestal that is, that there simply is no comparison. I can't think of anything that men revere more than pussy and will fight tooth and nail to get. Um, it is a form, they idolize it. Um, they idolize pussy, they put it, it and it is a form of idolatry. Uh, women do not do the same with dick. They don't do the same with men. They manipulate men. Yes, on, on no doubt, in order to carry them, women need men. But that is not the same kind of addiction as the addiction that the man has to the woman. And it's a very, very important uh, thing to stress. It is a very different uh, kind of addiction, if it's an addiction at all on the part of women. Um, I think it's more a convenient insight on their part that they possess uh, something that the vast majority of men idolize, and hence they use it as a weapon to full effect, be it uh, in the social institutions of the government uh, or on an inter interpersonal level through you know, withholding sex. You withhold sex from a man, you punish him. You offer it to him, you manipulate him. That is uh, the purpose of, <clears throat> of, uh, of a woman's interest in men, essentially. It's to get him to do what she wants um, and to kowtow to her wishes. Uh, should he not do that, he will be punished, uh, either through depriving him of sex, possibly cheating, who knows, all sorts of different methods women will employ to punish a man. So yes, I think I've addressed that point adequately. Um, the female addiction, if such a thing exists to, to men, is by no means the same thing as uh, a man's addiction to women. Man's addiction to a woman is really this, this apparently this biological urge which supersedes everything else, uh, whereby the, the, the pussy is, uh, is deified. Um, so, yeah, it is essentially deification, whereas 
the case of the woman, I don't think you can call it that. <sighs> yes, as I said, so that site really prompted me to, to make this video and to put my thoughts out on the subject, which have been sort of bubbling in my head for a couple of couple of days to a week for now. And, uh, yeah, I apologize if I'm a bit discombobulated. It's quite late here, and I'm quite tired, and I had a full day at work. I've been up since the crack of dawn. But anyway, uh, yes. And regarding the format, I, I think in the future I might be using this format more often rather than appearing uh, directly in front of the camera. Not that I sh I'm ashamed of showing myself. God knows every video I've done, I've showed up in person. But just because I think I can uh, put my thoughts out a bit more coherently without having um, to worry about uh, basically putting my face in front of the camera and make sure, making sure that everything seems okay. So I get these weird comments, which I don't really care about one way or another, but why I'm using a particular mimicry or whatever. So anyway, I think the, uh, this will be the format I'll be using for quite some time in the future, and I hope you continue watching. But yes, um, in synopsis, um, finalizing my thoughts, men are, uh, men's addiction to women is no different to a drug addiction, and it really needs to be kicked. And until we do that, um, things are not, uh, until we make ourselves aware of that analogy and the fact that the, the consequences are equally dire, um, we're going to be screwed as we're being screwed right now. Thank you for watching.